You taping me. My body's <laughs> ready. Everyone, raise your hand. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. Good afternoon, everybody. I have the pleasure to be standing on the stage with some of the greats of Dragon Ball Z all in one room. <laughs> It's a groundbreaking event, and I can't think of any other con that's done this yet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our guests. I believe they'll want to uh, introduce themselves, say a few words, and then we'll move into a Q&A. How's it going, guys? Woo! 13 years ago, this summer, is when I first went in an audition for this little show called Dragon Ball Z. And then I was hired to be Teenage Gohan, the great Saiyan Man. And the narrator, next time on Dragon Ball Z. So lucky to be up here on this stage with this this amazing gathering here with the Seiyu and some of my American compadres here, and we are so blessed. This is amazing, and thank you for coming today. Hi everyone, my name is Yuko Minaguchi. Um, my character is Beedle and Pan. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Let's have a fun. <laughs> uh, hello everyone, my name is Kara Edwards, and you know me as the voices of Videl as well. <laughs> and also Sun Goten. Uh, this, I have to tell you guys, this, I'm so overwhelmed, first of all, at how many of you showed up. And it makes me so happy because I have been out of my mind excited about this. I've waited 13 years to meet these people. And uh, I, was so, I was just like, just please let everybody understand what a big, big, big deal this is. And it looks like you guys totally get it, and I'm so excited about that. It's, it's an honor to be here. I've cried twice already this weekend. I'm trying not to do it again, I promise. <laughs> Thank you for letting us be here. Thank you. Hi everyone! <laughs> it's a great pleasure to meet you. I'm Toshio Furukawa from Japan. I've worked with a Japanese voice actor for foreign motion picture and drama, and the voice of animation the games. I've played a variety of characters of uh, comedians like Ataru Moroboshi of Urusei, etc. And mm. uh, two come serious ones like him from Fist of the North Star. And from the Long series and Paul was the ace from One Piece. I'm so glad to join this event, an uh, amusement. Uh, I expect to have a very good time with you, thank you.
Hi. <laughs> that was uh, hi. I'm Goku. Uh, let's shoot Kamehameha all together. Love the world. Sorry, I go through that there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> hi, my name is Sean Schimmel. Um, I, I, I think she got my joke. Awesome. Uh, um, I, I'm normally a very talkative person, and I'm having trouble making sentences right now. Um, I, we are sitting in history making right now. Be aware of that. Also, there was a full moon last night, and none of us turned into monkeys. So, we were all together again, so I think this is an auspicious and positive era. And words can't describe how uh, thrilled I am. Uh, oh, by the way, I play Goku on the, on the American version of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I'm beside myself, I'm thrilled to be here, and I want to turn over to Frieza. Come uh, here, hi! Oh, and at the end of this, we're going to beat the crap out of him. And uh, I was starting off with, uh, with our guest saying, uh, Hello, Earth people, my name is Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my name is uh, Yusei Nakao. I play Frieza on Dragon Ball. And uh, we have wonderful guests today and a wonderful audience. Uh, and so we are looking forward to having a very wonderful panel today. So, I guess without further ado, we'll uh, open it up to some questions and answers from the audience. Somebody raise your hand. I know you've got questions. Did you forget about the history being in the Raise your stinking hand. This is your chance. This is it. This is never going to happen again, probably. Uh, this question is for both Shaw and Monsico. Sean, how does it feel to be sitting next to Masako Nozawa? And uh, Masako, how does it feel to be sitting next to Sean? I, I will defer to Masako first. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies first. <laughs> I thought he was Goku. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> uh, is there more? Is there, I don't want to interrupt. Is, is there more? Do you have, it's okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm done. <laughs> um, I'm having a hard time not crying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling um, uh, Frieza <laughs> at lunch that um, we as cast members have been communing with the show for 13 years um, and kind of exchanging each other's energy and now we're all in the same room. Woo! Uh, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> it's career number one highlight. And I have, I don't have, um, I can't talk right now. <laughs> All right, so I have seven Dragon Balls. What's your wish? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> more Dragon Ball Z. More, more shows. We want to 
Bring it back. <laughs> Dragon Ball, so I hope you continue forever. <laughs> 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 I think in this moment it's hard to think of anything else I would wish for. Um, but, you know, for us this is, this is such a really big event. Kyle, Kyle, Sean, and I have been like texting each other and emailing each other for a month and we've been so excited. And I mean, um, you know, this was in Saber Voices, all three of our characters, um, which is just so incredible. And, and you want to, in life, you want to think that your work matters. And when you sit here, you realize how much it matters and how honored we are to have been a part of this. So, yeah, I can't wish for much else. Woo! Orgasm the ace in life again. <laughs> uh, I'd like to return to my mother's body. That's <laughs> because I'm Luj, his mother. <laughs> you have a very good son, haven't you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Goku <laughs> to is Sony. I wish to join Goku and walk the earth and make friends with everyone. <laughs> and now I gotta follow that. Because <laughs> my first thought was, I hope we get to dub the Battle of the Gods movie. <laughs> I just, you know, Dragon Ball Z is the gift that keeps on giving, so uh, I have everything in my life I owe to uh, Akira Toyama Sama and, uh, uh, and everything I've gotten since then uh, has changed my life in, in ways I haven't articulated to you, so I, I just wish more of that uh, and uh, Dragon Ball Z forever is all I can say, like, more Dragon Ball. So. <laughs> Well, when I get all seven Dragon Balls, I will make what I wish and say and turn uh, Frieza into a good guy and not be a villain. This kid must go out and be a boy. It was after my version of Gohan was introduced, and he's kind of a dork and all that stuff, but then there's this moment in the tournament arena where things get real. <laughs> and then he goes beyond the Super Saiyan, and his eyes roll back in his head, and he yells and screams, and the tournament tiles start levitating, and it's the first time he screams, and he, like, frightens everybody. I'm like, that's cool! <laughs> Uh, I think my favorite story is you. <laughs> this is so funny. We were seriously just talking about this over lunch. Um, I think my favorite episode is when Videl learns to fly. 
uh, first of all, because it's basically the doll in your head, go attend the entire episode, um, which was so much fun to do, like, back and forth between the two of them, but also because it's a, it's one of the only episodes I can think of that's so subtle and quiet, there's not the pounding music through the whole thing, it's a very, and it, it's a lot about, you know, a lot of, actually about the culture and developing your chi and your energy, and, uh, we seriously just had this conversation. Um, and I, by far, I love that episode. It's actually one I'll go back and watch occasionally. The story is that the Piccolo train Gohan. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
voice to go the back characters. to the character. To, 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 to go back to the video game. It's supposed to like the go back and voice the various the characters for the various video game releases. Oh, okay. Specials. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, we were all, the first time we went through and were dubbing Dragon Ball Z, and it came to an end, we got to like episode 291, and everyone got really nostalgic and like, oh my gosh, it really does end. <laughs> and then we got GT, and we got through that, and then, and then the game started coming out, and we we're like, wow, we need to revisit the characters. This is cool, because we've already done all the movies and everything. So we've been like really, really grateful that we got to come back for... I've lost count of how many games there are. <laughs> so we've had one from, you know, Budokai all the way up through the Connect game this year. So, I mean, I'm sure there'll be more, because there's an audience for it. And we're so grateful that there is. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get to do it again. Because it seems like it's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? So, right? Yeah. We'll keep making more games. You guys keep buying and playing them. And everybody wins. <laughs> Well, when you go back, um, there would be some 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 while before you uh, you get that uh, you've done the voice. But it's really a happy occasion where you can go back and then become the character that you once played again. Dragon Ball Z, and it was my first ever job, and so uh, there was a lot of, I was, I was incredibly naive throughout the entire process, which meant that I relied heavily on the directors to basically say, do this, say it like this. Um, as with the games and, and different things, uh, it's because of the conventions that I've been to, I've been able to explore like the character a lot more. And I, because of things you guys have said to me um, to bring panels, like I understand these characters so much better now than I did then. And it helps in the games. Of course, the games keep in mind are it's just a lot of yelling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but during those little individual scenes when you can go and act out dialogue, um, I think throughout the years it's so much fun to revisit it because, because of different things I get told, um, it's like, oh, I'm going to change it. I want to do that, because that's right. That really matters. And I just think the characters continue to grow. And it's so rare in voiceover that you actually get to continue to explore something and make it better and better and better. And um, I mean, what an honor. That's so <laughs> cool. So I like it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> So glad to have a movie to uh, be a full theater for the fun to wait a long time. And because I like very much uh, Piccolo. Well, even when uh, it's been a while and you go back uh, doing the voice for a video game or a uh, theatrical feature, um, I never have a hard time getting back into the role of Goku because Goku always lives inside me and uh, I live together with him. So uh, it's always uh, just a matter of stepping out and uh, revert, uh, having him uh, come back out. What was the question? <laughs> like, what's the difference between the games and the... <laughs> I'm serious, I was just thinking... What was the question? I was in, uh, what's the difference between the games and the... what? Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, uh, I really didn't know. Uh, I was thinking and listening. Um, 
it, it's different because it's, it's, for me, it's not uh, about the games versus the characters. It's about Z versus Kai. Because uh, when we started Dragon Ball, uh, we started right in the middle of the Ginyu saga. We're right around there, finished it. Then uh, we did movies in between, and then we came back to the beginning. Then we did G GT, and, it, and then we started doing games, and then there was a big break. And then by the time we did Kai, I, w I was a more seasoned actor, and the scripts were nearly identical to the Japanese. And so it's unheard of in uh, the industry to be able to revisit uh, your character like that. Most shows don't get redubbed into a new reboot like Dragon Ball Z Kai. Um, and I felt like I was a better actor and I knew the character better because uh, Dragon uh, Goku was my first audition ever. So I was able to uh, perform better. And I agree 100% with Monsuka Nazawa um, here. Uh, <laughs> talking to her like she's not here. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I, in my career, I've done a lot of different voices, but Goku has a special place separate from everything else I've done. I've said this before, and what she's saying is. Um, it reminds me of uh, what Thich Nhat Hanh says about uh, the Buddha, uh, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Buddha takes refuge in me, I take refuge in Goku, Goku takes refuge in me. Uh, and that's how I feel about Goku. Just like uh, Mako over there, um, there was a 10 year blank uh, between the end of uh, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Kai. And um, it was a very great occasion to uh, assemble the old cast members and, and, and read up Kai. Uh, but uh, in our interim, there were lots of uh, video game projects, so um, I never had to uh, leave the character for, for that long. But um, when you uh, look at the current uh, shows, you have so many new uh, young voice actors come up and uh, and, uh, and be cast members, but it was a great and happy occasion to go back and, and join veterans, the veterans and even my senpai to, uh, to go back and uh, assemble as the cast members of Dragon Ball. But uh, there was one thing with uh, Dragon Ball Kai. It, it was 10 years ago. Even though it was 10 years ago, every time we go back into the studio, uh, Mako would say, Okay, so what's going to happen next? I have to know. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up, my philosophy in my life is to be as good as Goku. <laughs> and you don't, you don't understand how much it I drove 10 hours here just to meet you. Thank you. Um, I just, just want one question. Um, I would like to shake your hand. Okay. And ask you if you would do a Kamehameha wave. wave. Yeah. 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 I'm okay shaking your hand, but I won't do a Kamehameha without Masako Nozawa. Thank <laughs> you. 
you could love me and I could love you. <laughs> Would you do that? What, is it too, is yeah. it okay? Yes, let's Would do it. Can we do it together? I don't know how we're gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry. Three of us? Are you okay with that? Yeah. The three of us? Yes, yes. Is that okay with us? Half the quiz. Are you a super saiyan?
Mako in real life, uh, Mako plays Goku, but in, when she uh, drives, she turns into Frieza. <laughs> of what we get to do in our industry is to meet you guys and get the face-to-face -face feedback at conventions like Animazement and to hear the stories about how their lives have been touched and inspired through the years and when we hear constantly, you were my childhood. It's like, I didn't fathom, I didn't imagine that would ever come to that, that I would ever have a point in my life where I would be inspirational to someone for some, something that I did, for some performance that I did. And that is an amazing, amazing feeling that goes beyond any description, really, honestly. Um, 
And it's very gratifying, that's like one of the most gratifying things to hear. When I hear those, those are my favorite uh, types of responses. On, on a completely comedic note, I was in the subway in Manhattan, and uh, this Indian man in his early 20s came up to me, and he said, Oh, I know you. You are the Goku. And I said, uh, and I said uh, how do you know? He goes, I watch all your Google videos. You're Googling. I have job audition today. I will get the job because I'm a Goku. <laughs> Because he thinks he's going to get the job. I don't know if he got the job or not. Um, <laughs> I've done my job properly, but it is a, a surreal and humbling experience to think that through the power of television and storytelling that um, that you could have an effect on that. And, and it, it, you know, you want your career to go places, you want things to happen, you want to improve, but it's never going to get better than that. It's just, that's it. You know, to have that effect on all, of any of you who are, had that effect on. So I, I'm uh, thank you for the honor. Woo! え、子供が2人いますが、え、ちょうどドラゴンボールが始まった頃が、え、子供たちが幼稚園で、私が声優をしているということはあまり興味がなかったみたいです。え、フリーザーをやってからいっぺんしました。え、小学校とか幼稚
願いします。行ってみたい。<笑><笑><笑><笑>私は悪役をやったことないのでフリーズです。<笑><笑><笑>
<laughs> someone's gonna lead the charge. Um, I, I'm glad. I'm glad someone did it. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess there wouldn't be any Z team. And, you know, there would be I mean, for me, as far as Goku and King Kai, that uh, since I played both voices. Yeah. Um, there's definitely the, the theme of student-master relationship and different levels because you have Goku training with Master Roshi uh, and he gets to a certain level and then he goes beyond Master Roshi and starts to train with King Kai who is, from what I understand, a, represent, a type of god. As far as Mr. Popo is concerned, I can't, I don't know if that's, you know, because of his cooking abilities or, uh, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I think it's... I don't know how it really works in the story as far as that goes where they're there, but I understand that King Kai and Goku relationship um, better, I think. Um, that's the best answer I have, I'm sorry. We, we just realized we weren't trained by either of those people, so we're out. <laughs> <laughs> the narrator just reads the scripts. <laughs> Last time. Next time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Do you guys feel true rivalry? Like, you know, dur during the show? <laughs> Do we feel a true rivalry? As people, as actors? Like, oh. <laughs> what? Could you Hi, clarify? Um, do you, are you asking us if we're rivals in the show and then also rivals as actors, or...? Yeah. Oh, okay, much. okay. <laughs> Chris... Chris Abbott's one of my closest friends, but I... I like many friends, uh, uh, we have had some fights. Uh, a lot of times they did coincide with the show. Um, uh, <laughs> And, 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 and recently our relationship has, has uh, become very, very good, very, we're very close friends. Uh, but yeah, and I'm difficult to work with sometimes because, you know, I'm a little bonkers. But um, uh, I think it, it, there are many things in Dragon Ball that paralleled my life, and Goku was a great place of refuge when I was having difficulty uh, in my own personal life. Um, and I think the Goku-Vegeta relationship is... It's a standard archetype uh, for, for how, uh, I'm having a hard time making words for this, um, which is rare. Uh, no, we're not rivals. <laughs> we, were, we were for a little bit, and, then, and now we're not. <laughs> That's the best I got, I'm sorry. <laughs> you fight with Vegeta? Uh, uh, the actor? <laughs> Uh, no, because we're, we're women and men. Oh, but that's strange. No, 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 we don't fight. Well, let me answer that. Uh, Goku does not know the meaning of marriage. <laughs> but uh, when they were little, uh, Chichi asked Goku, will you marry me? And Goku, not knowing what that meant, he said yes. So uh, since then, from the next day on, those two were married. <laughs> That's awesome. My answer is going to be because Chichi's a bitch, but... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my. It's on tape. And I was wondering, was there any uh, scene from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z? Even GT, I guess. Um, that, you, that you look to and you think, 
oh, they did it, I could do it, or some, some scene that's iconic to you that inspires you to try harder or do something better. So the question is, what scenes are inspiring up to us that makes us try harder and do better? Yes. As Goku, or as, are all of our characters? Anybody, anybody, as our character. Okay. Any particular scene that, I guess, matters most to you? I don't know if, if I, you know, you can say, Frieza inspires me to be more evil. <laughs> <laughs> She gets very, very hurt, but going up against like this ridiculously large man, and I think that it's kind of a metaphor for a lot of things in life, that uh, when you're up against this just insurmountable obstacle, um, you might get a little banged up, but in the end you're going to be okay. Uh, I think that's a good one. I mean, it's either that or when Goten and Trunks decided to urinate on the wall and write their names. <laughs> フリーザーは最終形態のフリーザーはクゲです。For the uh, Japanese version, we uh, talked it over with the producer. The final form of Frieza for the Japanese version and is, is inspired off uh, nobility. Aristocracy, and that's his hobby uh, origin. Material for Goku, um, at least for me personally, is um, uh, not giving up. When the chips are down, your friends are dead, <laughs> what are you going to do? And, you're not, and, there, and it's, for me personally, and I, I'm not going to go into any great detail, but uh, you know, when the chips are down and my life was not going great, you think about Goku and what it does for me, and how having been in the show has had me for, for me to keep going. Uh, especially in the entertainment industry, when it's really challenging, uh, and in my personal life, uh, the basic message is, don't give up. Um, and uh, no matter what, what are you going to do? You know, don't give up. By the way, did any of my other castmates, that question was for everyone, did anyone else have any inspirational Toshio? Uh, anyone? Kyle? No, okay, because the closest I could come is okay, okay. I just didn't want to indomitable spirit, you know, yeah. behind the thing. There's not any particular scene, but just like well, the other message could be sucking all your energy from your friends to make a spirit bomb. But... <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. I mean, of course, you know, we can't rely on seven Dragon Balls to determine the eternal dragon and summon them and then get our wish or whatever. Life doesn't work like that. But I mean, let's let's bring Krillin back. <laughs> And give him a nose. This time. Hello, hello. My question is for Frieza. If you actually complete your world goals, will you ever find love? <laughs>
We all know there are a lot of sand We all know there are a lot of sand in the series. Is uh, like the death of Krill and at the hands of Frieza, Goku sacrificed himself to eliminate Cell. Is there a particular scene that was sad that affected you when you were when you first got to it in the script? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, Jeff, or, or ask him to repeat it? I'm sorry, the last um, part of the question. Is there a particular part of any sad scene, like when <coughs> Goku died at the hand, or when he sacrificed himself to destroy Cell, or when like Krillin was killed by Frieza? Is there any particular scene that was sad at the death of someone that affected you in the booth when you were doing your voiceovers? Oh, you're saying that if there was a scene where it was very sad, or a sad scene where someone was sacrificing himself that it affected us emotionally? Um, I'll just answer that since I'm on the mic, but when you're acting, you're in character. At least that's how I am. And so, I'm... If Goku's, you know, sacrificing himself, and he's about to uh, take Cell to uh, King Kai's planet and die, and he's all happy, I'm in the emotional state of Goku, and if Goku is happy to sacrifice himself, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Uh, I might be sad that I, I'm not going to work next week, but <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm in the emotional state of the character. Um, when I watch it, maybe after the fact, I might be. But I'm, I'm wherever the character is. So that's my answer. Um, my question is. What are your thoughts on Team Four Stars a bridge series? <laughs> With all respect, this is a. I'm not even gonna, I think it's funny, uh, but this is a Dragon Ball Z panel. Uh, you know, I, that's my feeling. You know, it's funny, and I met those. Oh, I haven't met those guys. I've seen them before, um, and there. It's a very mixed feeling for me. I'm, I'm not going to comment. If the other cast members want to comment, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Hi, uh, this, this is for uh, Sean and Masako. Uh, how do you feel uh, to meet each other as Goku? How do we feel what? To meet each other. How do you feel to meet each other as Goku? That's the first question. Uh, I personally uh, booked this convention for that specific purpose. <laughs> uh, so I am thrilled, and it, it's an honor, and I barely feel like I have the right to be on the stage. So that's, <laughs> I, I'm blown away. It makes me very happy to, uh, to meet my counterpart, especially uh, since uh, he is of the opposite gender. And uh, <laughs> I, I may be a woman, but I still uh, am male in, in, in character when I play. Uh, but it's interesting to see uh, how the, the voice actor or male version of Goku uh, looks and sounds. kinship because it's an experience that you've both been through uh, and even though the experiences as we've discovered throughout the weekend are different we record differently in the two countries um, it's still something that the, the two of them the two of us that, that we share that we're the only two you know only the people who've been able to voice these characters in their language share this and it's such a small group of us and it's such an honor that I mean, we, we met yesterday and the first thing that I mean I but I, you know, we met, and I, I was so overwhelmed that I actually had to get through dinner. They kept saying, "They're sitting behind you. You can turn around and say hello to both of them." And I was, no, 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 no. no. I mean, it took me until the very end of the meal to finally walk over and say hello because it is—it's just such an honor. I'm curious. I'm curious if uh, uh, Frieza here and Goku. Um, I can't help it because that's what you guys do to me, so I got to do it to them. Um, have, have you seen uh, much of the English version? Um, I know I showed some Frieza to, uh, to Frieza, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, and I didn't know if you guys uh, have watched it, or, 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 and it's okay, I would not be offended if you haven't at all, I'm just curious, have you watched it in English? Okay, 
Does it totally suck? I mean, you okay? You don't have to compliment us. I, you know, it's okay. Um, <laughs> I have seen the English uh, version of Dragon Ball, and um, I don't speak English, but there is something universal about acting, and I can tell, uh, and uh, it fits naturally. It also sounds natural, but uh, also when I uh, met her yesterday, it felt like I met uh, another uh, family member. Um, so like everyone around here, it's a real honor to be in your presence. Uh, so for my question, do you guys have a favorite line or several favorite lines that you remember that are really memorable? And uh, can you perform it for our hearing pleasure? Nice. Yeah. Frieza asked me this at lunch, and I, I really couldn't come up with one, but I'm going to think about it while they're talking. Go ahead, everybody. <laughs> such a subtle and beautiful moment and all of a sudden in the background you hear I'm a birdie! I'm a birdie! <laughs> Too, maybe. Well, a lot of people like the Allied a Good Nightmare to You speech, which is pretty fun. <clears throat> you know, Allied a Good Nightmare to You! Yeah. Um, I like that. I also like, there's actually a scene that's actually ended up being an outtake where Goku is um, looking for the androids, and I could not get it right. And the line is, I wish they would have shown me a picture of them. But I kept saying, I wish they would have shown them a picture of me. <laughs> and so, I kept going, I wish they'd have shown them a picture of me. And I kept laughing, and I kept laughing, and I front, and, and I did like 20 times. You know, you know, I they wish they would have shown them, or you, I can't do that. A <laughs> picture of them. I, li I like outtakes, I like uh, funny lines, and, um, and you know, there's little subtle lines, like goodbye my friends when he's gonna die. I mean, it's just always the special moments. I don't really have favorite lines. Uh, Kamehameha's are always really fun. Uh, Kaioken's are always really fun, uh, you know, the spirit bomb got tiring because um, his arms, arms were up for ever at one point. I'm like, get your damn hands up! Um, uh, so they usually turn, my favorite lines usually turn into outtakes, uh, but uh, there's a lot, a lot of the speeches and a lot of the positive things Goku says, um, those are always very inspiring and, and very enjoyable to perform. But Goku is not, you know, my favorite lines are probably with King Kai and the jokes and the, you know, when you doing the whole, you know. You know, I, you know, I, I, I sold my car for gas money, or, you know, <laughs> like you can't do piano, but you can't do a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't record this so long ago, it's very difficult to uh, remember them oftentimes. At least do this for me. I don't know about the cast. do you have a favorite line you'd like? No, no pressure. Sorry, I'm 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 sorry,
おめえだけは絶対に許せぬ。あ<笑>の<笑><笑>中世に。Sitting next to her when she does Goku voices, I can feel her、uh, change into、uh, something else. I can feel her channel, it's like, must go, then suddenly I can feel Goku sitting next to her. It's amazing. And、uh, she said,、uh, I have two, and、uh, the first was,、um, Only you I will not forgive, to which、uh, Frieza filed an apology. And,、uh, and the second one was,、uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Mine's like a hybrid of the narrator and Gohan. It's like next time on Dragon Ball Z, fight you. I want to kill you. Yeah! Or <laughs> the Cartoon Network version, I'll destroy you. No! <laughs> Kyle, do you remember? I like it when Team Gohan is doing the same man and he's trying to be real cool and doing a pose, and I remember what he says, and it comes across so、yeah. funny and nerdy and dorky. Yeah, it's the same man rap. Which、yeah. is on YouTube, but I don't have it memorized. I need to. I love it. First、that. time I tried to do the same man rap, <laughs> uh, I was doing it like James Brown. Like, <laughs> and then Chris Savage goes, No, no, stop, stop. It's not him. <laughs> you need to wind it up to make it really wide. <laughs> wow. It、uh, has no sense of rhythm. No. Nerd it up. Obviously, we, we have a favorite episode, which is Vidal Learning to Fly. It was a very special episode. So we were、uh, thinking, I would say, one of our favorite lines, and then she would follow me. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Come on! I'm flying! Time for two more questions. Inspired me in so many ways to just form and warp my mind, my body, my soul into what you see right now, which may not be much, but I guarantee you in a few years you'll be seeing me on TV. <laughs>、um, just what you see right now, I guarantee everything that I have learned from you over the time of watching Dragon Ball Z, I will be incorporating that into my life, my mind. My soul and my spirit, and I just want to say thank you.
happens to be one of the most powerful characters and able to take a punch from a Super Saiyan. So I'm sure a common cold would not kill this man. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have a nose either, so how do you <laughs> Oh. 